Hey everyone, let's talk about panoramic ocean views for miles. Tall ships offer a look at the world's oceans in a way that nothing else can. With the scent of the salty sea thick in the air and the warm ocean breeze rippling through your hair, there's nothing quite like a cruise through open waters. But the ships in today's video are not your average boats. As tall as some apartment buildings, these ships look as though they could pierce through the sky. Join me for today's video. We're going to take a look at 15 of the tallest ships in the world. Number 15. Mirabella 5 Alright, we're starting off the video with one of the tallest ships in the world, with the ship that holds the record for the largest single-masted yacht ever built. But it's not her size I'm after, it's her height, and on that front, Mirabella 5 doesn't disappoint. The ship is a sloop rig super yacht and was built by VT Shipbuilding in Woolston, Hampshire. Mirabella 5 is 254 feet long and has a gross tonnage of just over a thousand. But her height, which is 290 feet, is her most impressive feature. In fact, her mast is so tall that passengers aboard this record-breaking ship risk getting a sore neck if they try to see all the way to the top for too long. However, since the price per week to charter this beauty was 420 grand, it's highly unlikely that passengers could afford a little massage therapy if they found themselves with a neck kink. The yacht was first owned by Joseph Vittorio, and he was happy to charter her out for luxury private charters. Mirabella 5 boasts six cabins and the capacity for 12 guests. However, even if you have an extra half million to drop on a one-week charter, it won't be aboard the Mirabella 5. The boat has since changed hands and it's no longer used for private charters. Number 14. Palada Palada is officially called a tall ship, and with a height of 75 feet, it's a name she deserves. However, Palada is not just tall, she's also super fast. This tall ship has the ability to satisfy both a thirst for height and a need for speed. The ship is a three-masted frigate, and Palada holds the world speed record for the world's fastest sailing ship. So, just how fast is a world record sailing speed? Well, the speed that landed her in the Guinness World Records is 18.7 knots. The ship was designed by Zygmunt Koren, and along with her record-breaking speed and massive height, Pallada also has another reputation. She really gets around. Pallada has logged more than 900,000 nautical miles since her launch in the late 80s. She successfully made an around-the-world sail and has visited 36 countries. She's also stopped at more than 100 ports. It's not all travel for Pallada, though. When she isn't sailing around the world, she's used for cadet training. Number 13. Seawise Giant all right, Seawise Giant, we've seen it before on this channel. It's a legendary ship who wasn't just tall. This ship was massive in all regards. It's also known as the Happy Giant, the Yahir Viking, and Nock Nevis. This extraordinarily tall ship is the longest self-propelled ship of any kind in the world while it was in service, as well as the tallest. But with great length and great weight comes great height. Although she's not the tallest ship that's ever sailed the sea, she's certainly one of them. Pictures of other boats besides the Seawise Giant speak to her immense height. Even large boats look puny in comparison. The ship was built from 1974 to 1979 by Suitomo Heavy Industries in Japan. She had a long life, but was eventually scrapped in 2010. She was a crude oil tanker with a capacity for 4.1 million barrels, which she delivered at top speeds of 19 miles an hour. Grand and iconic, Seawise Giant towered over the other boats, and although she no longer carries oil, she still carries a few world records, as well as a place in seafaring history. Number 12. Evergreen, Ever A Lot Container ships are responsible for transporting the things that we need from the places where they're made. Therefore, the more we can fit on these ships, the quicker we can get our stuff. So it should come as no surprise that ship manufacturers are constantly trying to build these ships bigger and better. Evergreen Ever A Lot, as her name suggests, can carry ever a lot of containers, so many that she officially surpassed the previous largest container ship in the world, Ever Ace, and now holds the title of the world's largest container ship. She has a capacity to carry 24,004 TEU, which is a 20-foot equivalent unit. She's the seventh ship in the Evergreen A-Class, but the first to break the 24,000 TEU mark. Evergreen Everlot is 203 feet wide and 1,312 feet long. But in addition to her boast-worthy length and width, when fully stacked, you better believe this container-hauling beast is really tall. This ship will serve trade routes between the Far East and Europe. It was built by the Hudong Zhuangha Shipbuilding Group, and her first voyage brought her to Rotterdam in the Netherlands on August 12, 2022, where she was met with much fanfare. Number 11. STS Sedov 
When we're measuring ships purely by height, then we can't overlook the significance of sailing ships. With massive billowing sails, it's the masts that give this type of ship their height. STS Sedov was at one time the largest traditional sailing ship in operation, and one look at her towering masts and it's not hard to see why she was granted that title. The ship was built as a German cargo ship and was first launched in 1921 under the name Commodore Johnson. STS Sedov, as it's named now, is a four-masted steel bark and had a length of 385 feet. She could glide through the water at speeds of 21 miles an hour, but her most impressive feature was her 177-foot height. Now, as a cargo ship, Sedov did her fair share of hauling things across the sea, but today the only thing she hauls are cadets. She currently acts as a sail training vessel for various universities all over the Soviet Union. So, needless to say, having the opportunity to train on a ship as glorious and as tall as STS Sedov would be a memorable experience. And while she's not busy training cadets, she can be seen as a host for renowned maritime international events. She also likes to show off now and then as a participant in the tall ships races. And with sails like that, I don't blame her. Number 10. Royal Clipper Have you ever wondered what the largest square-rigged ship in service is? Well, wonder no longer, because here she is, the Royal Clipper. Royal Clipper is a Guinness World Record holder and it was originally built to be a floating vacation home for miners. But alas, no miners ever had the luxury of living aboard this thing, because she was sold to someone else because of financial problems, of course. Royal Clipper is now owned by Star Clipper Limited, where she's used as a cruise vessel. Granted, she's needed a bit of tweaking before she could fully transition from minor home to cruise vessel. She was redesigned by Robert McFarlane and today cruises around the Mediterranean in the summer months. When winter hits, she makes her way down to the Caribbean, and when traveling to and from the Mediterranean and Caribbean, she offers transatlantic cruises. Royal Clipper can accommodate 227 passengers at a time, all of whom can marvel at the magnificence of her sails. All in, Royal Clipper has 55,000 square feet of sail that are spread out amongst her 42 individual sails. Her owners have self-proclaimed her to be the largest true sailing ship. However, no official entity has ever verified that claim. Number 9. BAP Union Just as mechanics need to work on real cars at some point in their training, cadets need to work on real ships. So, some ships are built specifically for this sole purpose, to train. BAP Union is one of the largest sailing vessels in Latin America, and she welcomes cadets aboard to learn all the ins and outs of life at sea. BAP Union is a four-masted, steel-hulled Class A bark. This giant ship was built between 2012 and 2015. She was built in Peru by Shipyard Marine Industrial Services, and she first took to the sea on December 22, 2014. And along with being one of the largest sailing vessels in Latin America, she's also highly regarded as a sailing ambassador for her home country, Peru. Her sail rig boasts 34 sails, and she also has some pretty elaborate details, like her famous figurehead, symbols from the Inca culture, and a bronze image of the Sapa Inca Emperor Tupac Yapanqui, aka The Shining. Because she's a training ship, she's outfitted with educational spaces like an auditorium, a library, a computing platform, and a whole whack of classrooms. It's the perfect environment for cadets and Peruvian naval wannabes to learn about all the essential things they need to know, like astronomic navigation and naval operations. Standing proud at 175 feet, BAP Union is not just one of the largest sailing vessels in Latin America, she's also one of the tallest educational ships around. Number 8. Moshulu You won't be able to witness the height of Moshulu from a dock as it sails on by, but you can hop aboard this boat and witness it firsthand. Why? Because this boat be landbound. Moshulu is docked in Penn's Landing in Philadelphia, and although you can't go sailing on her, you can order some appies and a drink. Moshulu is a floating restaurant, and a popular one at that. And while she spends her time now sating appetizers and wedding whistles, once upon a time Moshulu was a commercial sailing ship. The ship was built in 1904, and it's a four-masted steel bark. She used to travel from Chile to Europe, just doing her job, until she was seized by the United States as an enemy asset. From there, she spent her time just sort of drifting in and out of service, as seized enemy asset boats do. She finally capsized in 1947. She was then demasted, which sounds embarrassing and traumatic, and then sold to the United States. In 1975, she opened up as a restaurant, and she also dabbled in the silver screen for a bit, and you can see her in The Godfather Part II and the Rocky movies. Moshulu has a height of 185 feet, making her one of the tallest ships that's ever sailed, as well as one of the tallest ship restaurants in the world. Number 7. Golden Horizon 
Golden Horizon was originally called Flying Clipper, not to be confused with the sister ships Star Flyer and Star Clipper, but she was renamed to the much more unique and far less confusing Golden Horizon. The ship is a steel-hulled, five-masted, bark-rigged tall ship, and she spends her days operating as a cruise ship. Golden Horizon was designed by Zygmunt Koren, who was a renowned Polish naval architect. The ship was built in Split, Croatia, and launched in 2017. Now, when she launched, Golden Horizon was called by some the largest sailing ship ever launched. However, that claim has never been verified, and Golden Horizon has never been granted any official world record-breaking titles. However, that doesn't mean that she isn't still grand in her own right. Golden Horizon has 36 sails, and she can welcome aboard 270 seafaring guests at a time. She hasn't been around long, she's just starting operations in May of 2021, but she's garnered a lot of attention in her short life so far. Her interior is decadent and lavish, and everything about Golden Horizon screams, well, gold. The epitome of luxury, this tall ship offers too many modern amenities to list, so needless to say, this is not your average cruise vessel. Golden Horizon welcomes aboard guests whose pockets are as deep as her masts are tall. Number 6. White Pearl White Pearl is a stunning sailing yacht that boasts a world record. It has the tallest carbon yacht masts in the world. The gigantic masts were created by magma structures in Portsmouth in the United Kingdom. Apparently, building carbon masts this tall is not a fast endeavor, as it reportedly took three years for magma to test, develop, and design, and finally construct this behemoth mast. And needless to say, masts as tall as these need a whole lot of sail. Sails that are larger than a football field, to be exact. And as if the sheer height of these masts weren't enough to secure their place amongst the coolest of the cool in the ship world, the masts are also intelligent. These masts are embedded with fiber optic sensors that relay comprehensive load data. Well, what does that mean? Well, the masts can optimize the performance of the ship. This ship has an official name too, Sailing Yacht A, but most people call it the White Pearl. The yacht was designed by Philippe Stark, and this beauty's owned by Andrei Melanchenko. White Pearl, it features eight decks, so even without the enormous carbon masts, it's still pretty tall. However, measuring in at 295 feet high, the carbon masts are really what all the hype is about when it comes to White Pearl. Number 5. Frédéric Chopin Named for the famous Polish composer, Frédéric is a brig rigged sailing ship. This ship was first launched in 1992, and since its inaugural launch, this ship has been racking in the accolades. It won the Boston Teapot Trophy in 2019 and 2021. It's also collected many other race titles in the tall ship races in 2012, 2015, and 2019. It's not just used for racing and racking in the awards, though. With a home port in Poland, Frederik Chopin is widely used as a training ship. In fact, the ship has been used all over the world. West Island College in Nova Scotia, Canada chartered her for a year, and the European School of Law and Administration in Poland also used her. Plus, Three Oceans has operated her as a training ship for the Blue School. She had a close call in 2010, though. She sent a distress signal when she was about 100 miles from the coast of the Isles of Scilly. She came up against a fierce storm and the gale force winds had taken both her masts. Fortunately, though, the ship was towed to safety to shore without any further damage or injury. Today, she's still going strong, both on the racing front and on the educational front. Number 4. Star Flyer Although the name of this ship sounds like it may be better suited for a spaceship, Star Flyer likely got her name from her height. The ship is a four-masted barkentine and it was built for luxury cruising. Star Flyer is operated by Star Clippers Limited of Sweden, and she's not alone in this world. Star Flyer has a sister. Her sibling ship is called the Star Clipper, and I can't help but wonder if Star Clipper ever gets jealous, since her sister has a name that evokes soaring around the stars while her name suggests that she quite can't reach them. In any case, the Star Flyer was completed in 1991. She sailed under the Luxembourg flag up until 2010. Today, though, she sails under the Malta flag. Star Flyer can accommodate 170 passengers, who can kick back and relax under her 16 sails. Both her and her sister have more than 36,000 square feet of sail each, so there's no jealousy when it comes to sail coverage between these two gals. Star Flyer was built with the grand age of sailing in mind, so she's decorated in that vein. Pictures of antique sailing ships adorn the walls, and passengers walked on perfectly polished decks with stunning mahogany rails. Star Flyer is said to bring back that nostalgic era of sailing. 
That doesn't mean she's short on modern amenities, though. She's got fireplaces, piano bars, dining rooms, and a library, plus other modern features to keep guests nice and comfortable. And both the Star Flyer and Star Clipper use high-quality, low-sulfur gas oil. They've been awarded the Air Pollution Prevention Certificate, although Star Flyer was the first ship to receive the award. In fact, she was the first ship in the world to receive it, so yeah, Star Clipper probably harbors a bit of jealousy towards her more famous sister. Number 3. RMS Queen Mary II We tend to think of masts when we think of tall ships, but other types of ships are still tall in their own right and they deserve a mention. The RMS Queen Mary II is one such ship. As the largest transatlantic ocean liner in the world, the RMS Queen Mary II is a lot taller than most ships. This iconic ship is the first major ocean liner built since 1969, so she's gathered quite a bit of attention. The ship was named for the late Queen Elizabeth in 2004, shortly after she made her maiden voyage. The ship has a stern to bow length of 1,132 feet and boasts a gross tonnage of about 148,000. Because she's so big, she can accommodate a lot of passengers. The RMS Queen Mary can welcome 2,620 passengers on board, as well as her crew of 1,250. This massive ocean liner travels along at a top speed of about 35 miles an hour, which might not sound that fast, but for an ocean liner of this size, that's a pretty decent speed. Besides, if you want to get somewhere quickly, you don't exactly take an ocean liner. The ship is meant to be a unique experience, and since the ship is so tall, she offers splendid views of the magnificent ocean as she saunters along at an enjoyable pace. The RMS Queen Mary II is the only transatlantic ocean liner in service that operates between Southampton and New York. So if you ever wanted to get from New York to Southampton by sea, then you best buy yourself a ticket on board the RMS Queen Mary II. And if you're afraid of heights, though, you might want to avoid that top deck. Number 2. The Club Med 2 if you've ever had the hankering to enjoy the yachting life, then nothing can compare to the luxury of Club Med 2. As far as sailing ships go, the Club Med 2 is really in a class of its own. It's hands down one of the largest and tallest sailing ships in the world, and seeing it sail through the waters of the Mediterranean, Adriatic, and Caribbean Sea firsthand is not something you're likely to forget. The ship has a length of 636 feet and weighs almost 15,000 tons. The ship can accommodate 386 passengers and requires a crew of 200 to ensure everything runs smoothly. The Club Med has five massive masts, all of which are electronically controlled. Now, this maximizes their efficiency and makes for some smooth sailing, even in rough waters. The sails, all seven of them, are controlled by computers, so this is a pretty technologically advanced ship. And whether the weather is on your side or not, the ship is equipped with two electric motors and four diesel engines, so even if the winds are calm, the ship can still forge on. Because the Club Med 2 has both sails and engines, she boasts a hybrid system. This allows her to utilize clean energy, the wind when sailing, but should the weather turn and the seas turn rough, she can switch on those motors to make sure passengers get to a safe harbor. Of course, as a passenger ship, the Club Med 2 offers entertainment options like dining rooms and ballrooms as well as luxury details, like well-appointed staterooms and gorgeous finishings. Plus, there's a dedicated staff to wait on you hand and foot. For those with a penchant for sailing, booking a room aboard this ship would be an unforgettable experience. For most of us, though, we'll have to experience this lap of sailing luxury vicariously through pictures and videos. In any case, the Club Med 2 is clearly one of the tallest yachts around, and coupled with its commitment to clean energy, its safety features, its high-tech gadgets, and its all-around luxury, the Club Med 2 is truly something to marvel at. Number 1. Wonder of the Seas is it really any wonder that the wonder of the seas has made its way into a video about the tallest ships in the world? Well, because everything about this ship is larger than life, including its height. Now, in all honesty, cruise ships are, on average, really, really tall. In fact, their height tops the highest of sailing ships because they have deck upon deck upon deck. And it seems that as soon as one ship comes along to steal all the titles for size and amenities, another one is announced as in the works. Today, it's wonder of the seas for the win, but it's only a matter of time before another bigger, taller ship comes cruising right along. The wonder of the seas is tall, just as tall as many apartment buildings, although instead of floors, there are decks, 18 decks to be exact. And of course, a cruise ship of this height comes with some pretty stellar perks. For example, along with being a massively tall cruise ship, Wonder of the Seas also has the tallest slide at sea. So you can slide down the tallest slide at sea while aboard the tallest cruise ship at sea. 
Not a fan of super tall water slides? Well, then maybe the ship's zip line will suit your fancy. The zip line is 10 decks high, so you can zip along ridiculously high and take in ocean views for miles. Wonder of the Sea's stacked decks offer up something for everyone. Rock climbing walls? Yep. A full-size basketball court? Check. How about an ice rink or a water park or fine dining, dance clubs, or a swimming pool? Yep, check, check, and check. Wonder of the Seas even has its own central park with more than 20,000 real plants, so if you get tired of the endless ocean views, you can take a stroll through some amazing flora. It took more than three years to build this behemoth wonder of a cruise ship, and when you're aboard, you'll be one of nearly 7,000 guests when the ship's at full capacity. This ship is the fifth Oasis-class ship by Royal Caribbean, and needless to say, if you find yourself aboard this tall ship, you absolutely must wander up to the top deck. You won't find any other vessel that affords such a great height at sea. Just mind the railings, it's a long, long way down to the water should anyone accidentally fall overboard, which never happens, so don't worry. Still, standing at the top of the cruise ship would surely feel like standing on top of the world, which is why the wonder of the seas, with its currently uncontested height, has earned it the top spot on this list of the top 15 tallest ships in the world. I'll see you next time. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.